Hello everyone and welcome back. Woke up this morning at four o'clock like I do every morning when I'm up here deer hunting and I uh, just was figuring on getting ready to go out to the deer stand and I'm laying there in bed and I can hear the tent creaking. So then I poke my head outside and the wind is gusting so bad out there sometimes I don't feel like going out and sitting in my stand and having the tree blow over. I think I'll wait till this afternoon. I'm going up early this morning. I'm going to run up to town. I want to fill up with fuel. Usually when I leave after if I stay all week, I've got just enough to get to town to fill up, you know, before heading home. I'm going to be going the opposite direction of home right now, but take a few hours round trip, but at least I can get filled up because the storm that's coming. Now they're talking a couple inches of rain and then maybe a quarter inch of ice followed by four to six inches of snow. It could be a slow commute leaving. And I don't want to be sitting there worried about looking at my gas tank if I'm going real slow. I see I have a snowbird. I had one yesterday in the last video, you would have seen it. They just like to stay right in front of the truck. I wonder what's going through their minds. I just passed my dad he was heading home and he said in case he can't come up the third weekend which is what you know 10 days from now because the weather gets too bad he shut everything down in the cabin and this year he decided to shut the in the breaker box shut off the you know the oven but also the refrigerator and I said well did you crack the refrigerator door open and the freezer door open and he said no I said otherwise it's gonna be all moldy when he comes back up there, so I will run over there and do that for him. There we go, everything should be fine now. Looks like his refrigerator just stays open, but I put those towels there in case, I don't know, it isn't gonna close, but he said to put them there so that the doors can't totally close. What a nasty day out there. I remember when he was making it and he told me about it, but I guess I've never seen it, his little spot there for feeding the birds. He's got some bread in there now, <laughs> and the birds are flying around here. Well, let's get back to the tent. I see he switched the tables around. That's the one that he made in the workshop last year that he made to sit next to his chair over here. But they got rid of the chair that was in the corner and then he took the one that was out in the workshop, in his workshop here, and put next to his chair. Because my dad always sits right there.
I bought some fresh mushrooms when I was at the store in town. It's the only thing I got. This, fuel, this, and a quart of oil. And then I grabbed two DVDs from a, my dad's cabin. I was just sitting here editing the first deer hunting movie and then ah, when Sarah and I were coming back from when we took that drive out to check out the area that I tried hunting last year, uh, I was driving in the back way and anyway a stick was sticking out and it hit the side of the truck. It was a loud, loud whap against it and I was just looking out there and it broke the antenna off the truck so I uh, just going to order a new antenna so when I get home it'll be there and I can put it on there because I listen to the car radio quite a bit. And it's still nasty out here when that wind gusts up. I'm still planning on going out this afternoon and sitting in my clearing stand. I have to see which direction this wind is. East would hit me right in the face. Which is good for deer hunting, but not good for sitting in the stand. I think for lunch today, I'm going to have leftover jambalaya. Sarah took the taco stuff yesterday home with her. Got some jambalaya there and a couple little ham chunks. I like buying that. It's like a, it's not a lunch meat. It's about the size of a lunch meat container, but it's just chunks of ham. I like when them things go for sale. It's even windier now than it was this morning, but there's no way I could just sit in that tent all day and not do anything. I definitely want to go out to the stand. I think it's pretty much going to be hitting me right in the face. No deer in their right mind would be out in this stuff, but that's the kind I want to shoot, so you just never know. At least it's not cold out. It's like 35 degrees, so just kind of like what it was last night. I never needed to wear gloves the last couple of nights sitting out. There's about 40 minutes left of shooting time. It just started to rain. Just a light sprinkle. I get an A for effort. I still picture deer walking out where I've seen them walk out and shot them before or watched them walk out and they were a doe, especially when it gets close to dark like that. But yeah, it's just not happening.
I'm just uh, texting with or messaging with Melissa. She has to go out and do the uh, feed the animals and fill up the boiler. And I asked her if it was raining like this here, and she doesn't know if it's raining that hard out there. She says she let the dogs out, and they didn't stick around long. But I mean, it's 37.6 here, and when she got home from work, it was in the 40s there, like 40, 45 or 46. So that's why I'm wondering if it's raining tonight, because otherwise the dogs wouldn't come in on that fast in 40 degree weather. Joni comes in pretty fast because she has such short fur, but Chunky, he don't give a crap. Be 20 below, and he's just out there sniffing everything around. I think tonight in the background I'll put in two mules for Sister Sarah. The trick to doing really good fried canned potatoes, if you're cooking anything else, like I was, cook that first. Kind of like if you're doing gravy, you get all the chunks and stuff in there. And then if, if you're not, it doesn't matter. They still turn out really good. But then I put them in here and now they're canned so they're already like cooked and they're softer. So then I foil it or put a cover on there and let them get warmed up. And then you just kind of be careful when you're turning because they really break easy, which is fine too, but you get more corners. And then just sit there and cook them until they start to brown. And also if you don't didn't cook something first, I would put a half a stick of butter in here and then some oil because that butter will help brown it up too and it gives it some more flavor. And then I just cook it like this till it starts to get brown. Then I'll turn the heat up a little bit and you just wait and it gets a certain crackle to it and you know that it's getting done. Turn that heat up a little bit, but when you do that, it doesn't take long to get them finished. Yep, that's looking good. That right there is a perfect tent meal. Great meal to make when you're camping. I mean, you can do that over a campfire. Two cans of canned sliced potatoes, one thing of mushrooms fresh, a thing of stew meat, and just a small thing of stew meat. And then I had, I think, two, I don't know if they were polar sausage or bratwurst, or just something in there to add some fat to the uh, cooking oil that I put in there. Add a little bit of variety. You could even put andouille sausage, or and yeah, andouille sausage in there to give it some heat. That would actually be really good. A ranch, cattle. What do you want? A ranch. Okay, everyone. Well, it's time for bed. It's not raining outside right now. We'll see what it's like in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is 40.1 degrees, and it's not raining right now. It looks like it should. I didn't look at the radar, but looking at my phone, like around 9 o'clock or so, it'll start raining again, and then 
rain most of the day, but it seems nice enough now. A little bit of a breeze, but not much. last night there's some pretty good puddles Well, that was a pretty uneventful morning on the stand. I mean, <laughs> it was the perfect morning, but I was texting with George, and George said, you know, there just simply might not be any deer in the area right now, and until we get some snow, we're not going to know, which we should get. Uh, and within a couple of days here, we should get some sort of snow. The winter storm is still coming. They really don't know what it's going to do, but... Sounds like more ice, a lot of rain, and then a little bit of snow. Look at that lake. Person should be out fishing. This is definitely the calm before the storm. I think I'll have some leftovers from last night. I have one more bottle of root beer. Well, I think this afternoon I'm just going to go sit in that stand that Zachary made since it's out of the rain. The rain has stopped now, but it'll pour real hard and then rain a little bit, and it's just going to get wetter and wetter. Just throw on my orange vest and my tennis shoes and grab my little buddy heater and my rifle and backpack and go.
Okay, everyone, well, it's a few minutes after 10. I'm going to head to bed. Hope we get some snow tomorrow, or by tomorrow night. Be nice to see if there's any deer tracks around or what's going on. Well, I obviously did not go out to the stand this morning. This now is spo was supposed to be all snow, and now it has turned into more of an ice event. And the temperature is now, it was like 35 something when I woke up, and now it's down to whatever it just was, 34 point, 33.6. It dropped down to 33.4, then it went up now to 33.6. And I'm starting to be able to see the rain falling, uh, which means we're getting closer to that snow, ice type temperature. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, there was no way. That stand I sat in last night is awesome if there's snow on the ground. The trail is quite a ways out, and unless you were staring right at that spot the whole time to see the deer, you could easily miss them, but once there's snow on the ground, it's easy. So I was like, I'm not going back out there again this morning. It's nasty. I texted with George, and he didn't go out this morning either. It's like, no. And we'll see now. It's Thursday today, so this should be wrapped up by tomorrow morning, I think. In fact, it, uh, this is what it says for the... Ice storm warning from 6 this morning until 6 tomorrow morning. Significant icing expected. Total snow accumulations of 1 to 2 inches and ice accumulations of 1 tenth to 4 tenths of an inch. Winds gusting as high as 35. And then, you know, power outages could happen. Travel could be nearly impossible. Yeah, and that's about it. So. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm planning this Thursday today. I'm planning on going home Saturday after the morning hunt if I don't see any deer or tracks or anything. Then I'm going to come up, back up next Thursday. It's coming down hard now, but you can see what's happening on the porch. That's not just wet anymore. Still says 33.3 degrees though. I'm just editing on this video. I'm on the second folder of video clips and there's 16 folders. But they get shorter as time goes on, you know. I mean the video's already at 54 minutes. <laughs> Such a crappy day. I am so not good at sitting down and not having something to do. Even the editing, I can edit for a while and then I gotta stand up and walk around the tent, look outside, look out the back door, walk around. Yeah, I'm not good at this. I have a chuck roast thawing out. I've got some country style ribs and then the other bag of the chicken. I, I don't know if I'm going to want to cook tonight or I know I'm going to want to have some chicken and some le other leftovers for lunch. It just gave me something to do. Well, that's all ice, not snow. I'm going to take my truck and run it out to the tar and just see what the roads are like. Come back here then and have some lunch. 
32.7 right now. 88.5 up ahead high in the tent. It does feel warm in here. But it feels good. It's weird because we were talking about it with to the kids and everything and it's like it could be 85 or like this 88 in here. It doesn't feel like it's that warm in here. And maybe that's because the humidity is so low. Looks like somebody else has driven through here today. A lot of standing water. It's going to be an ice skating rink by tomorrow morning. My thing said that we've got since midnight over an inch of rain already. I was wondering when they were going to come and burn those piles from where they logged all this out. You can't really see it, but it's over there. They had a sign that said, caution, smoke ahead. Ooh, it's icy here, it really is. Let's give it the brake test. Yeah, yeah, you slide, but it's not too bad. I've seen it worse. Looks like they're burning it down here too. Looks like the sun is trying to peek out a little bit and it did show on the future radar. There might be a little spot of clearing and then it's going to just come right back in. Looking at the tracks, it looks like it was George that ran the loop here because uh, the tracks went into his driveway and out of his driveway, so I think it was him. With all the dead balsam here now, after that spruce beetle or whatever it's called, killed so many or almost all of them off, there's going to be trees falling over the roads here for, I would say, you know, a couple of years before it really calms down. I don't even think it's really started yet. Look at all this water. Definitely icy too because I got pretty good tires on this truck but when you give it gas I really don't go anywhere. I need to call up the power company at the house. The power's been out since like 9.30. That's over two hours. It's 10 after 12. And usually they'll get it on pretty fast but I mean back in the day we one time went for over two days. I need to find out because if that's the case, it says that a crew was assigned to it, but if it's going to be a long one, I'm going to have to head home and get the generators going because 
you got to keep the boiler moving, you got to keep, and then I have it so it's all plugged in, so the furnace runs, the well runs, everything. But usually they get it pretty quick. Let me see here. The rain let up for a little bit, and I started getting my stuff in my backpack. I was going to head out and sit in my dad's stand, since that has a roof over it, and it just started downpouring. 33.1 degrees, so it's warmed up a little bit. It was down to 32.9. Just a rotten day. I'm not going out in the stand in this. The power did come back on at the house. I can check it by looking at the ring doorbell, because if the internet's out, the power's out. And uh, now it's back on again. So I don't have to head back there today or tonight. That's the sound of the rain out there. We're up to 1.40 inches of rain now. I'm just editing the tent video. Sarah's clothes are a little damp, so I want to get them dried out and fold and put on the top shelf where I, on the top bunk here. out there is getting seriously nasty.
that chuck roast looks pretty good. That should be enough for three meals tonight, tomorrow for lunch, and tomorrow for dinner. And then Saturday morning I'm heading back. But right now I have everything set up here and I'm going to take a shower. I just salted the porch here where I walked because it was, you know, it was all wet earlier and now it's cold and it all froze and it's just like a ice skating rink. <laughs> it's really slippery. The salt just melts it right away so it'll be good. All I've been doing tonight now is continuing to edit on the deer hunting video. I'm editing folder number 10 right now. And there is a total of 16 folders, so I'm getting there. It's 10.25, stayed up past my bedtime. Some light snow was falling, but the wind died down. If it's like this in the morning, I'm gonna head out to my dad's stand. Good morning, everybody. The wind died down. There was a little bit of snow overnight. I was gonna sit in my dad's stand, but I think I'm gonna go and sit in my clearing stand. I'm not sure if that snow has stuck to the trees and my dad has you know all those little pine trees going out to his and he puts those red markers that glow with your flashlight but I don't see those very well so if it's really covered with snow I'm gonna get myself turned around in there so I'm gonna go sit in my clearing stand this morning.
I'm just driving the loop trying to see if there's any deer tracks. Although it would have to be recent because when I oh, look at that owl. <laughs> uh, you know, I went to the stand, what, five hours ago, and you couldn't even tell that I had driven down the road and it snowed enough to cover that. Look at that owl, it stopped right up there. That's so cool. That looks like a postcard. Oh yeah, it's still smoking over there, smoldering away. the weather is tonight. Maybe we'll go sit in my dad's stand. I'm not sure. I could go and sit in Sarah's stand. I was messaging with George earlier and he talked to a couple of his friends, some locals, you know, that live up here. And they have not seen deer all summer long. And they were saying that half of the friends, you know, their deer hunting friends didn't even get a license up here this year. But they said that the wolves have moved out of the area, which, uh, you know, there's nothing to eat. <laughs> And, you know, they blame it on the wolves and then two harsh winters that we've had in a row. But I'm going to go sit in Dad's stand tonight. And uh, Melissa messaged me and said that she ordered, I don't know if she got 10 or 20 pounds or whatever it is, of shrimp from Louisiana that's getting delivered today. So I don't even going to go out in the morning. I'm just going to pick everything up today, head home in the morning so I can do a shrimp boil for lunch. And... Uh, then come back up here next Thursday and do the final weekend or whatever. It'll be interesting to see if George's son is coming up today. I don't know if he said John was coming up. To, I'm not really sure, but see if they see anything now that the snow is here and the deer start to get into a their winter type cycle. If anything comes around. I'm not giving up, but I can tell you after I've been up here, let's see, I don't know, a lot of days, and uh, I'm ready to head back and spend a little time with Melissa and kind of regroup. There's some things I want to get done around the house. 
and then come on back up, get everything ready for the, the big freeze. So much harder to get in here at the tent winter trip, but it's a lot of fun. That got a little bit chilly towards the end there because the wind picked up. I think it's something like 21 degrees or something that feels like was 16 last time I checked. That was a couple hours ago. Yeah, no deer. Didn't see any fresh tracks on the way in either, but it's always nice to get out there. And especially when the snow is like that, everything is so pretty. It's a little different having the snow all over because I left the deer stand same time as I did or I, like two minutes earlier than yesterday because I stay right up until you can't shoot anymore and I could walk out today with no headlamp. I think I'll go in the tent and get my heavy clothes off tonight get everything cleaned up it looks like some of the highs this week are going to be in the teens and the, well, until I get up here next Thursday. And the lows will be in the single digits or 10, you know, right around there. So I probably need to pull the canned stuff out, throw them in a cooler and put it in the back seat and can just leave it there this week until I come back up. Pretty sure this video is going to be called uh, Deer Camp. It's not about the deer. It's all about the weather. That's one thing with this video, the weather has really drastically changed. Well, I haven't got a whole lot done. I got the deer hunting stuff folded up and stuff. Sarah's stuff put up for next year. And Kate, oh, I don't think she can come up again this year, but she said she could during the week, but the weekends were busy. But anyway, I have a DVD that has like, I don't know if somebody sent it to me or if I bought it at one time, but it had 15 classic films. So I put in the 1942, I think it was, Jungle Book last night and just had it in the background. and. At lunch, I watched some of it today, and it was not that good. <laughs> but um, then I put it's, there was one in there called Jane Eyre, and I put it in, and I could still do a few things, but I was watching it, and I can't figure out if I really liked that movie or if I really hated that movie. I mean, it's old, but um, anyway, <laughs> I watched it to the end. Definitely go through a little bit more wood when it's 22 degrees versus 35 degrees. It's still, I mean, it's 
81 in here, but by your feet, it's just a little bit chillier. I have half a mind to leave the canned food up here, but I did that one year and then came up the third weekend and a bunch of them had bulged. So I guess I'll pull them out. I suppose I'll have to haul them. Oh, you know what? I can put them in the workshop now. It's 70 degrees in there all the time now that the wood boiler is going. Like I don't want more bags of stuff sitting in the house. And then just throw it in my truck when I come back up again. This kind of stuff can stay here. Somewhere. I tell you, if the crap ever hits the fan, as long as uh, Melissa doesn't look at the expiration dates, we can eat for a long time. I was going to put all this stuff in a cooler. I could actually put it in a cooler and leave it in here. The only problem with that is that eventually inside the cooler it gets just as cold as outside. You know, eventually. And if that happens, it's not going to warm up fast enough. <laughs> so, and when I went out there, you know, when I got here, I took all the coolers and put them meat and everything in the uh, refrigerators and they're still wet inside so if I were to put this stuff in there even if I paper towel it out if it didn't have time to air dry all of these are going to be starting to get rusty by the time I come back up next weekend so I'm just going to bag it I'm going to leave the beer and the pop soda for you people in the south here. I think that'll be just fine. It's carbonated or it has alcohol in it and usually you don't have one explode in your car until it's like 20 below outside and it's not going to get anywhere near that this week.
Okay, everyone, that's as far as I'm going tonight. Everything else, canned goods, stuff in the refrigerator, all that can go out in the morning. I mainly wanted to get it cleaned up enough so I could vacuum because I hate vacuuming, especially in the morning. Well, it's 10.38. I just filled up the wood stove and it's time for bed. Tomorrow morning we'll finish things up and head home. Good morning, everybody. Just packing stuff up. Just so I can get out of here. 19.2 out there this morning. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. It's been a fun time up here. I'm looking forward to getting home and seeing Melissa. And I'll be back up here in five more days. video.